In this brief video, we'll look at a few of the capabilities available with the Amazon Titan Image Generator when using the Image Playground in the AWS console. To start, we first have to select a model. I already have the Amazon Titan Image Generator model enabled in my account, so it's presented here as an option. So I'm going to select that model, and I do not have provision throughput enabled, so my only choice is on demand. We'll apply these settings. The playground updates and we start out in generate mode. There are two quality settings available. I'm going to choose premium. Now we can also set the resolution of the generated image. We can choose from landscape or portrait, and then we can choose specific dimensions from this dropdown. It's important to note that when you switch from landscape to portrait, the size value may change. That's because the size options for each are different. The editing capabilities of Titan Image Generator require that the image's width and height both be 1024 pixels or less. So this option I've selected here would actually prevent us from being able to edit the resulting image. So I'm going to go ahead and just select 1024 by 1024 as the size. I'm going to change the number of images to one so that we're only generating one image at a time. The prompt strength slider determines how closely the generated image will match your prompts. Using a lower value here will allow the image generator to be a little more creative in its output, and using a higher value will ensure it obeys your prompts as closely as possible. We'll just use the default value of eight. We'll talk a little bit about the seed value in a moment. So now I just have to enter a prompt describing the image that I want to generate. So I'll use the prompt, a sand dune with desert plants. After a few seconds, our image is generated. Now if I were to hit the Run button again without changing the prompt, the prompt strength, the seed, or the size, I'm going to end up with the exact same image every time. To generate a new image, I'm just going to provide a new seed value. Clicking on a generated image will open a larger view of that image and provide a few options we can choose from. We can choose to generate variations of that image. This is a good option if you generally like how the image looks, but you just want to be provided with a few more options that look similar to it. For more control, you can click the Edit button to go into Edit Mode. We'll look at that in a moment. You could also use this image as a reference image where you provide a new prompt and the image serves as an additional input to that prompt. Some of these options are also available by clicking on the three dots at the upper right of an image. Let's go ahead and edit this image. So now we've switched to edit mode, and the image that we generated is automatically set as the reference image. So we'll be editing the image that was generated. However, you're not limited to editing only images that Image Generator created. You can also upload your own images as reference images and edit those through this UI as well. In the interface, you'll see this bounding box that we can move and resize. This bounding box controls which area of the image will be edited. Note that in Image Playground, there are some limits to how small or how large you can make this bounding box, but those limits don't exist if you're using the API directly. We can use this bounding box to add, remove, or replace items in our image. So let's use it to remove these plants. After positioning the bounding box, we just need to provide a new prompt that describes what we want them to be replaced with. After a few seconds, we see the result. Now let's use the bounding box to add some objects to the image. We'll use the prompt, a cactus with branches. And now that area has been filled in with a few cacti. So the bounding box is useful, but it only works for rectangular portions of the image. If you want to affect parts of the image that have a more sophisticated shape, you can use the auto masking feature that Titan Image Generator provides. The way we do this in the Image Playground is we provide a mask prompt. The prompt can be a word or phrase that describes the area of the image that you want to affect. So let's change the sky in this image. The sky in this image has a very sophisticated shape. When you've provided a mask prompt, the bounding box itself will be ignored. So let's use a new prompt of fluffy clouds and run that. 
and now our sky is filled with clouds. In addition to naming specific objects or things with the mask prompt, you can also use broader terms like foreground or background. This image is looking pretty good, but it's missing a foreground subject, so let's add one. So I'm going to position the bounding box, and in order for my bounding box to be effective again, I need to be sure to clear out the mask prompt. And we'll use the prompt, an iguana taking a selfie. And there's our finished image. Now we can download it if we'd like. I hope you found this quick video helpful. We didn't go through all of the features of the Image Playground, so look for future videos where we'll explore those.